He is risen. He is risen indeed. All right, boys and girls, we're going to continue our lessons on angels. And I have, look at this beautiful picture. There we go. Okay, so yesterday we learned that God made angels and that they don't have true bodies. And that we have guardian angels that look over us. And we're going to practice our guardian angel prayer in just a minute. But we're going to learn a f about a few instances of angels. So here is the good angels defeat the bad angels. Before letting the angels join him in heaven, God wanted to see if they would obey him. Lucifer, whose, me whose name means carrier of light, was proud of his power. He turned against God and said, I will not serve. But Michael, whose name means who is like God, arose to fight for God. The good angels joined him, and they cast into hell Lucifer and the bad angels who followed him. The bad angels are now called devils. So we've heard about those before, but never really in the religious aspect in class. So Michael fought with the good angels, and Lucifer fought with the bad angels, and he fell. So that means he did not win. All right, so here is another picture of angels that we've heard in the Adam and Eve story. An angel sends Adam and Eve out of paradise. God also made Adam and Eve. He gave them grace, which made them his dear children. But they disobeyed God and lost his grace and right to heaven. God sent his angels to lead them out of paradise. The angel had in his hand a flaming sword, which was a sign that God is just and must punish sin. But God promised to send them a Redeemer who would save all people from their sins. Do you remember who that Redeemer is? That's right, it's Jesus. Okay, and so here's another instance of an angel in the Bible. Okay, so this is Abraham welcomes God and two angels. People began to forget God. Can you believe that? They forgot God. But Abraham did not. So God promised to make him the father of great people from whom who would come the savior of the world. And remember who the savior of the world is? That's right, it's Jesus. One hot day, three strangers came to Abraham's tent. He gave them food. Abraham had no children. One of the strangers told him that in a year his wife Sarah would have a son. Abraham then knew that God himself had come to him with two angels. Interesting. All right, and so right now what we're going to do is we're going to practice our um, guardian angel prayer. Okay, here's our guardian angel prayer. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to watch and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. All right, so you're going to say it with, or right after me, okay? O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to watch and guard, to rule and guide. Amen.